Hey there, Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja. We got a great Ask a Ninja question from Heather in Noblesville, Indiana. And here's what she writes. I know I am far out of your service area. However, based on your videos, you appear to have the most knowledge on this subject matter. Oh, thank you, Heather. That's very kind. I live in central Indiana and we have a partial crawl space under our home. The crawl space is encapsulated with plastic that is taped well. We have a large advanced dehumidifier installed. That's a Santa Fe advanced dehumidifier. And a crawl space humidity is approximately 35%. Is it normal for us to be seeing sweating and in some cases heavy sweating between the plastic and foam board insulation? Thank you. Okay, now Heather, that's a great question. Uh, first of all, I don't know, so I'm going to try to answer both of these scenarios. I don't know if the foam board is installed over the plastic and the plastic is attached to the block or brick or whatever, or the plastic is over the foam board. So I'm going to try to answer these in two different ways. So if the foam board is attached to the plastic and you're seeing heavy sweating, then most of the time you're taking on water through your foundation vent or through your foundation wall and that water is maybe leaching through what they use to attach. So if they use like a mechanical nail, like we use the Hilti nails to attach foam board to plastic, they pierce the plastic and then that water is seeping or even humidity from that wall is seeping in between the foam board and the plastic, okay? Which is why we always put plastic over the foam board and not foam board over the plastic so we're not piercing the plastic. But anyway, so if you're seeing heavy sweating in that instance, chances are you're taking on a lot of foundation water or you're getting a lot of water from, from the ground. So you may live in an area that you, you might be close to a lake or have a spring or something near you and you got a lot of water percolating up through the ground which is causing humidity under the plastic. So that's okay. The dehumidifier is addressing that water as that water is leaching into the air of the crawl space, which is why you have the dehumidifier. I wouldn't worry about that, and I wouldn't worry about it if it was in the reverse either. If you've got plastic over the foam board, it's the same situation. It's just the plastic is keeping all of that moisture up against the foundation block, up against the foam board, or underneath the plastic. It's interesting, a lot of people think that whenever you encapsulate a crawl space, there shouldn't be any water underneath the plastic. Well, I'm in a building that has concrete, and I guarantee you there's water under the concrete, okay? Concrete is not impervious to water coming through it, so moisture will find a way to get through there, and you can't stop water from being under your building. Okay, so that's why you put the vapor barrier or the vapor retarder in the crawl space to keep that water at bay so that your dehumidifier doesn't run all the time and it can control the humidity, okay? So I think what you're seeing is not that big of a deal. I didn't see any pictures, so if you watch this video and you wanna see me, send me a few pictures if I didn't answer the question properly, please do. My name is Michael Church with Crawl Space Ninja. We hope you make it a happy and blessed day. We'll see you later. Thank you.